In this session, we are going to perform additional functions using Excel. This will come in handy in uh, financial or budget calculations. So let's say we have here the monthly pay for each individual or employee, and then we have the various deductions. Now we want to find the total deductions for that particular employee, their net pay, what's left over after paying for the deductions, the annual net pay, so we want to learn how to multiply it and what their net pay would be annually, and then weekly pay. So to get the totals, we're going to use a concept that we already learned from the previous sessions. We're simply going to get the sum of those two values, deduction one and deduction two. So we do that by using equal sign, sum, press tab to auto fill that part of it there, and then those two references. So C6 all the way through D6. Then hit enter. Now we can replicate that by using the auto fill feature that we learned earlier. Next, we want to calculate the net pay. So the net pay would be the gross pay minus the deductions. That would give us the net pay. So in this case, you're learning how to subtract two values. So in this case, we can do that without using a function, and we can simply put the initial amount. So this would be B6 minus the total deductions, E6, and then simply hit Enter. Now those numbers mean that uh, the values didn't fit in that cell, and we simply need to resize the column here. So it, it was like that. We can double click here between the columns, which I covered also in the previous section. So the net pay for this individual, which was basically taking their gross pay minus deductions, and then we got the net pay. We can use the auto fill, and we have the totals in here. You could do it by having that 12 month value as part of the formula. So to do it as part of the formula, you simply enter the equal sign, then you take the net pay, just click on it, F6 times, which is the asterisk, and then 12. Hit enter, that would be the annual pay. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it would be to use a reference point. So we have the equal sign, the net pay here, F7, times, and our reference point will be 12. In this case, this 12 on the top. Hit enter. The advantage of this method is, is that, okay, let's see how much this employee would be paid in two years. So you simply change that value to 24, you hit enter, and notice that will be their two year salary. Or let's say for six months, you simply enter and change the value. So that would be a good use if you're doing projections. If we use the autofill here with a reference point, there will be an issue, and I'm not going to go into that at this point because I'll cover it in the data types in just a little bit. Uh, but that has to do with using absolute references. So for now, we're just going to use it embedded into the formula. Now, supposedly, we wanted to get the weekly pay. There are 52 weeks in a year. We know that the net pay per month is $3,400. Per year, it's $41,000. But now per week, there are 52 weeks in a year. The equal sign here, the annual net pay divided, which is a slash, by 52. And there is your weekly pay or this individual's weekly pay. So, so far, we learned about uh, using uh, the sum to add the deductions. We use the subtraction to take off the deductions from the pay. And then we also focus on multiplication and also division. And then earlier we learned about a few additional functions that are still on the basic nature of using Excel.